Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Cobra Space Program. This is episode 5 of Designs of the Week. And we are going to try out some random aircrafts. Okay, so here we have JN Aircraft Mark 1. Yes, so the these pieces here, these few sludges, I've turned them upside down. Just like that. I had this, I then pressed Q twice. And that is placed upside down. That's what I did, and it actually looks quite nice. So let's try it out. Okay, it says on and throttle up. Okay, so maybe we're just gonna press. We're going to hold down S and see if this thing can lift up or lift off. Here it is. Start and lift off. There we go. There we go. It's got a quick lift rating. It's fairly stable, actually. And it looks awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I guess it's not very stable. Okay. 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 Let's try and land it. Yeah, it's not that stable. I'm pressing Q W to make sure it doesn't turn by itself like crazy. Let's point the nose down here. I guess we're gonna land it down there. Oh, that's right. They dem demolished. They demolished that lake that used to be there. I used to like that lake. Alrighty. Turn off the engines. Let ourselves glide a bit. And SAS on. Okay. Bang. Brakes on. So far, so good. And done. Next design. Okay, so this design is called Pin, and let me talk to you about something with these uh, fuselages. So if you compare the MK1 fuselage, Jeff Fuel, and this MK2 fuselage, you will notice there is a bit of a difference. So in the liquid fuel, there is 10 more liquid fuel in an MK2 than in MK1, and the total mass of the MK2 is 0.9999999. And for MK1 is 1.1. Drag is both the same, and impact tolerance is is more higher in MK2 than MK1. Overall, MK2 is actually better to use than the MK1. It's lighter, has more fuel, higher impact tolerance, and I wouldn't say it looks better, but overall it's more efficient. And if the if the KSP team ever introduce some sort of uh, heat problem that we will encounter with our aircrafts, then this MK2 thing will be very, very useful. Oh, throttle and space ball. And lift off. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Lift off, please. We may have to go to the end of the runway. But that was quick. That's four engines. Working simultaneously. Is the front part lifting up a bit? Nah, very, very stable. Very, very stable, actually. Let's see how high this thing can go. Okay, we are really high up in the altitude now. Let's check the air intakes. So far so good. Oh, this one's wasting out of air. 700 meters per second. Let's try and lift off a bit here. Okay, the, the front side is getting a bit heavy and starting to point down. Uh, SAS won't help. Oh, it is. Okay. So 700 meters per second seems to be the limit for now. We are descending. 
So that means we are slowing down. If I can point the nose up, that would be great. But overall, this design is fairly good. Next one. Now, this design should look familiar to everyone. It's the Rocker Powered VTOL. Uh, it actually comes with KSP as one of the default crafts, which, you know, anyone can use. And what I decided to do was create a, what you'd call, rip-off version of it. Or a larger version. There we go. So this is my version of it. It's a much larger one, and it actually goes to space. Which is awesome. Completely awesome. So let's attempt to do that. Alright, so what we do is throttle up and press spacebar. And you don't worry about overheating with these engines. They are okay with that. And what you notice is this thing turns to the right and sometimes to the left. But overall it is okay. And what is with that junk down there? Gosh, it's causing me some lag. Oh, I know what that is. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Don't worry, you guys will get this on video. You will see what that is eventually. Alright, now, mm, this is gonna take a while, so I might fast forward this in the video. So, I'll be right back when I'm finished fast forwarding. Okay, the Rocket Max fuel tanks on the side wasted. I should have uh, thought of that before. So you press spacebar to disconnect them, and your rocket or VTOL here will actually go faster up into space. And all of a sudden, look, we have more fuel. Before it was like less than half. Now boost it all the way up because it calculated these as fuel tanks. And I have this thing here, the thermodynamic generator to generate electricity in case we waste. Is there electricity? Because I have lights here as well. If you turn that on, electricity does drain very, 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 very slowly. But yeah, I don't think we need lights here, do we? So far we're going quite fast. You wouldn't think a VTOL could do this, but no, it's quite nice. And what I can do, or could have done, was added maybe a small rocket here with a Rocket Max and a Aerospike rocket attached to it. Just a small rocket that detaches from this VTOL. That would have looked very nice. And look how fast we're going. And now it's spinning the opposite direction. Now it's going to get out of control. Let me try and control it myself. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do it. Can't do it. I can't stop it from spinning. Okay. Well, that's all I can do there. And where are we? Nice. So we are going to fast forward, if I can. Oh, apparently the thing is still throttle up. Wait, let's throttle down, even though there's no fuel. Okay, so now we're going back. And are you ready? We are going to disconnect that stuff. There we go, this one here should have disconnected. What the heck's going on with that? Oh, what the heck? Shouldn't they have disconnected? Ah, oh, more glitches. This game. It should have disconnected with that part. Then why is it still there? Oh, high G-Force. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Yay. And... Where are we? I've never been here before. Oh, I see. Okay, expand. Come on, you can do parachutes. Now, they should expand any time now. Oh, I heard something. Three, two, one. Now, 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 now. There we go. We survived, and that is an awesome VTOL. It's very easy to use. There's no skill needed, except for pressing spacebar a couple times. That's about it. And, yay! Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Are we still fast forwarding? Yeah, that's why. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. It's the end of uh, episode 5 of Designs of the Week. 
and see you next time. Look at this guy swimming. Oh gosh, he cannot swim. Peace.